All right, y'all, welcome back to another episode of Reality Wrap Up. Jumping right into things today, we have Jonathan Wright and Rio going back at it again. And all of this started on Instagram. So Jonathan made a post about some merch that he dropped on his website. He dropped what he calls the Fight Friend hats on his website for $75 each. And as you can see, these hats have little red twists attached to the inside of the cap. Now, <laughs> for those that don't know, and I'm sure most of y'all do, this is some slight shade to Rio. On season one of Bad Boys, Jonathan was brought into the house as a cast member. And there was a big fuss about the room situation with him and Milan Christopher. So Milan decided that he was gonna bring his friend to come and fight his battles for him. And that friend just so happened to be Rio. All because Milan didn't wanna share his room. And, okay, look, I'ma just let you see. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Yeah, bitch, watch this. I'm about to fuck you up. We posted up. I straight went in on his shit and beat his ass. So I'm like, bitch, since I done beat your ass so bad, let me take this motherfucking hair out your head, ho. This ain't even mine. This is his. Don't pull my hair, pussy ass nigga. Bitch, you ain't pull my hair, ho. It's over. Pull my hair. It's over. Pull my hair. It's over. Pull my hair. It's over. Okay, look, now I'm not even gonna lie. This is absolutely hilarious to me and it really shouldn't be. Like, look at the little twists. They're like the perfect shade of red and everything. He put his work in. He must have watched this clip like about a thousand times just to make sure he got every detail right. But anyways, so Jonathan and Rio, they've been beefing ever since then and their beef ultimately is what led to Jonathan and Anthony falling out, but that's another story. Rio did not take kindly to this at all, so he came out on his IG with this and he had a lot to get off of his chest. I don't know what's wrong with y'all in these long ass paragraphs, but just because there's a lot of shade being thrown, I'm gonna go ahead and read it. And he even tagged Jonathan in this. He said, fat, ugly people always choose their battles wisely. I guess it makes sense to market and promote off Rio Scott hair since the word around the industry is you never touch another celebrity head again. Let's remind the people how you got famous, not from doing hair, but from stealing wigs and money from hair companies and vendors. Stealing Alex made you go viral and known clout chasing off megan and asian doll didn't get you where you wanted to be so i guess it was only right to go to zeus network since they were reviving people's careers and bringing them back on tv yet you still fat and unhappy on how they make you look even more stupid so you threaten to quit the show to get the same spotlight rio had because you want to be professional like eric and tay so bad you working under miss natalie nunn and she won't even allow you to touch her head but that's your friend he continued saying i just spoke this up sorry i I am Jonathan. The industry don't like you. Mind you, you just did her hair and she still don't know your name. Well, keep playing in my hair. Looks like I'll be the last star hair you play in. And with that second post, he shared this clip. I knew she was gonna say Tay. Hey. I've been waiting on her to say Tay. Hey. Tay, um, that boy that Tay don't like. <laughs> I don't know the boy name. I don't know the boy name that Tay don't like. The other dude that do here, Jonathan. Oh. <laughs> Look, listen, listen to this. Hey, Jonathan. Wait, I need the Queen Radio where they drop the boom, boom. <laughs> Okay, look, now, if I was Rio, I probably would have felt some type of way too, but didn't nobody tell him to go to that house fighting for no Milan, especially since he did all of that, got beat up over it, and now him and Milan ain't even cool no more. And of course, that brings me to my next topic, because Rio also had some words for Milan as well. So Milan posted this long ass note on his Twitter, and y'all already know, I'm not about to read all of that. Essentially, he was talking about how he tried to help a friend and ended up being backstabbed by said friend, and apparently he was talking about Rio. Now, even if he wasn't, the shoe must have fit because Rio responded saying this. Wrong again, you snaked your way to fame. I've been him, I was him, and still will be him. When you met me, the trip you took me on, I put us in the green. Let's be clear, and you tried to play me in the process. You threw a party with me at your house that you wanted to throw, and then accused me of stealing your bag, weird hoe. You brought me on a show, I was not your first pick because you would do anything for Zeus to give you your own show but you were stepping on Natalie's feet and that's where fat ass came into play. Don't bring me on nothing that ain't set up for my success, period. I'm top tier. Okay, well, I don't know what happened there. Last I knew Rio was riding for Milan, especially after the show aired and everybody saw just how scary Milan Christopher actually was after all. Now, I don't know, but ain't that your friend? Ain't that your friend? Ain't that your friend? Ain't that your friend? 
I know. Listen to me. Ain't got your friend Anyways, y'all, that's all I have for reality wrap up today. Once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd well like to. And tell me how you feel about these topics down in the comments below. I'll see y'all in the next reality wrap up.